Hello and welcome to our channel I say kids. Glad to have you here. We are going to talk about a very mysterious fort today, the Bhangar Fort. Popularly known as being the most haunted place in India, Bhangar was in fact a flourishing town of ancient times. It is a 16th century fort built in Rajasthan state of India. It was built by Bhagwan Das for his younger son Madhu Singh. A lot of visitors visit this fort to admire the beauty of the fort, which is a small city with temples, palaces and multiple gates. The sprawling grounds of cover a swath of land at the foot of the pictures mountain. But there's more to this mysterious place. Rajasthan tourism is known for its deserts. royalty and forts but while you go gaga over the sublime beauty and grandeur of its forts and palaces that still stand charming there is one place that can completely change it all forget the other places we dare you to visit bhangar fort which is the most insanely haunted place in india Visitors often marvel at its majestic architecture, yet they often feel anxious and restless. Some visitors even pointed out that they get a weird sense of paranoia as if somebody is following them around. Reason why, despite its popularity, visitors avoid hanging around the premises of the fort for long. The entire landscape is subsumed by a pall of gloom and a chilling hollowness. Once the last ray of sunlight bids adieu, until its arrival the next morning, the Archaeological Survey of India has even put up boards at several spots in Bhangar to warn people against staying in the premises after sunset and before the sun rises. As per the locals. Anybody who managed to go inside the fort at night never returned to tell his tale, as it is believed that spirits roam there at night, which turns this place into a hotbed for paranormal activities. It's very strange to witness that every house located in the area is roofless. When asked, locals stated that it is not possible to construct a roof on these houses. and even if one is built it collapses and such incidents have killed many people in the past this completely ruined haunted fort of bhangar does have a very eerie negative aura to it several legends have attested to the paranormal happenings inside the fort legend 1 bhangar fort mystery it is said that A sadhu named Baba Balaknath lived within the fort area and it was his injunction that any house built in the precinct of the fort should not be taller than his own and if the shadow of any such house fell on his it would result in destruction of the fort town and it is said that it held true Legend 2 Bhangar Fort Mystery A wizard adept in black magic named Singhai fell in love with Ratnavati a beautiful Bhangar princess. One day the wizard followed her to the marketplace and offered her love potion. However she refused it throwing it into a large rock that consequently rolled onto the wizard and crushed him to death. Before the death of the tantric he cursed the Bhangar fort. A marauding soon sacked the fort. killed each and every resident since then it is believed that their souls live there so it's a cursed fort it is believed that over 10000 people used to reside in bhangar before it was allegedly deserted overnight spooky standing in ruins this 400 years old grand edifice and the spread town around it owe their present state to the pitiful bhangar story that sealed its ill fate This Bhangar fort story gave me a chill run down my spine. What about you? Not sure whether these stories are true or not? 
but definitely it is not a place for the faint hearted to explore. All said and done, this is a beautiful fort to explore and completely safe too during the better part of the day. Let's get to know some interesting facts about it. The fort is situated at the edge of a lusciously green expanse of Sariska Tiger Reserve between Alwar and Jaipur. The fort was clearly modeled upon the medieval city of Shah Jahanabad with four massive wooden gates in every direction. These gates are the entry points to the fort and are named as the Lahori Gate, the Ajmeri Gate, the Fulbari Gate and the Delhi Gate. The precincts of the fort have ornately carved a miniature waterfall and temples which lend an air of tranquility to the place during the better part of the day. Some of the Hindu temples are Hanuman Temple, Gopinath Temple, Someshwar Temple, Keshavrai Temple, Mangla Devi Temple, Ganesh Temple and Navin Temple. The Gopinath Temple is built above a 14 feet raised plinth and yellow stones are used for the exquisite carvings of the temple. The residence of the priest called the Purohit Jiki Haveli is located in the precincts of the temple complex. Next in order is the Nachan Ki Haveli, the dancer's palace and Johari Bazaar, the marketplace, followed by the Gopinath temple. The royal palace is located at the extreme end of the fort's limits. More interesting stuff coming up on IC Kids on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Love from India. IC Kids.